Well, hello guys. Um, I just wanted to do a quick demonstration of something that I've been trying out with my K40 laser. Um, this plywood that I have, uh, I've already cut a few pieces out to uh, test with. I wanted to show you, um, oops, sorry. It's uh, about five millimeters in thickness. Had a hard time cutting it. Um, I tried something out with the air assist, but I'm gonna show you with and without my trick. Uh, I will have the air assist on. This is one of those nozzles I got off of Amazon. And the hole is quite big on it. And um, I guess my pump may not be quite that big, so it still creates some flare-ups, but I've got a trick for that. And it also helps it cut. So I'm gonna demonstrate that real quick. Um, I'm gonna turn my air assist on and then my exhaust, and then I'll do a quick cut. see it almost cut it out but it didn't quite cut it out so the little trick I've got I know this is going to seem crazy but it works I'm going to take a little piece of this blue painters tape and I'm going to stick it right over the air nozzle make sure it's stuck on there really good seal it all the way around And then I'm going to bump the laser just to put a hole in it, just like that. Now the air is gonna come out of a little tiny hole, kind of representing like a plasma cutter, if you know what that is. And I'm gonna do another cut and show you the difference. Let me uh, move that on over, turn on the air assist. You can see the flare up is a lot less. Actually, not at all. And the clean is not clean to cut it. Look at the difference in the quality of that cut because of higher pressure. Let me move the uh, unlock the rail, move it out of the way. And look, it just falls right out. Very clean cut. Because you're making a tiny little hole and it's pushing all the debris through. That's pretty clean. So that's my trick. Uh, please try it if you're having issues. These K40 lasers are small. They're not very powerful. And we have to go the extra mile with everything. And... Uh, this is my table is an adjustable table. I made these uh, little screws here. As I turn on the table comes up, table goes down. So that's how I'm able to do my focus. Maybe I'll do a video on that later. But uh, anyway, hope this answers some of the questions I was asked. And you guys have a great day.